Hey guys, this is Jarrett here with Team Adventures with BG, and joining me is Linda. Hi guys. And we're back to do another um, cocktail mix video. So we've got three new mixes. They're all margarita flavored. Um, and they're some of the things that we also take backpacking, hiking, camping. Um, they allow you to be lightweight or pre-mix, take it out on your adventure, uh, enjoy it out on the trail, at your campsite, at the amazing wonder that you make it to. Uh, just be sure that you're allowed to have it where you go, so don't go to some park where alcohol is not allowed and you know, you're, you're drinking it there and get in trouble because you know, that wouldn't be good for anyone. Um, so tonight we have, we have Craft Mix. They have a mango margarita. Joining us again is Bar Country. So they have a, uh, a lime coconut margarita mix. And we also have WP again. They have a spicy margarita. Um, and then for our liquor, we are using Exotico, as you can see. So that'll be our liquor for the three mixes. Uh, the way this will work, I'll mix up the three drinks. Then Linda will do them blind. I'll know what I'll be drinking. Um, and we'll kind of discuss uh, each one of the cocktails. So make sure you stay tuned. All right, so we're back. We've got our three drinks out. And I think we're ready to start tasting. Okay. Okay. Which one do you want to do first? Number one. Okay. Are we racing or are we savoring? Uh, I mean, just whatever you want to do to describe it. It has a strong mango smell. Mm -hmm. And there's no ice in this because we're pretending we're camping, right? Yeah. So normally, you know, it have ice. If you're going camping, you may have that. But if you're backpacking, you probably won't. I'm going to say it does not feel like a margarita without the ice. So, oh, yeah? Yeah. I guess that's a fair assessment that I, margaritas are either, you know, crushed ice or slurried or on the rocks. I just think about it like a regular margarita. It's just like a spiked lemonade without the ice. I mean, kind of. They're lime based, but similar. Um, a Mexican lemonade then. Okay. Because we make them out of lime. Lime, do you? Yeah. Okay. But other than in not meeting your expectations of a margarita, what do you think? I wouldn't, I'm not a fan of this one. Okay. And the reason for that is I kind of feel like it tastes a lot like those um, canned beverages you can purchase pretty easily. So I'd rather just hmm. have one of those probably cheaper too. I like it. It's a little sweeter, but I think it's more in line with kind of what a margarita should taste like at, you know, your general restaurant, extra sweet. So I think that one meets that intent. It's definitely mango flavored. So if you like a mango, you'll probably be more inclined to like it. Well, and that's something to keep in mind. You prefer sweet beverages where I prefer salty beverages or more yeah. bitter beverages for some reason. Let's see how loud I can swallow this. Okay. I don't have the ability to swallow quietly. Okay. I don't know if you know that about me. We'll let the, I guess, viewers decide when they listen to this. Mm -hmm. It's a good thing we're doing this for science. I think I might have stopped drinking this one. Okay. That's number one. Mm -hmm. Not a big fan of it. Okay. Are you ready for number two? Mm-hmm. Okay. This is a lot, a lot more liquid than the others, so be prepared to drink it faster. Okay, so I'll try to chug now. Okay. Impossible. It's coconut. Mm-hmm. It's got coconut flavor to it. To me, this tastes more like a margarita, though. It has that salty element that yeah. usually goes with the sweetness of it. Yeah, it does seem to have the salt mixed in with the sweetness on this one. This one is coconut flavored, so it's yep. not an exact comparison to the other one because the other one was mango flavored. Yeah. So you might be more partial to it if you like coconuts. Mm -hmm. That's another thing to keep in mind. Also, this one may be better for your 
hydration versus Especially alcohol consumption. Heat, yeah. Yeah. You want to slow down on the drinking a bit. This mm -hmm. is probably a good call. Yeah. It's got a lot more water in it. It'll take you a little bit longer. It'll make you feel a little bit more full so you can't get to the next one as quick. I don't think I've ever drank a margarita this fast. Oh yeah? Yeah. Well, it's for science, so keep it up. He, you and others frequently accuse me of being a, a drink nurser. Yeah. Also, I'm pretty sure it's a fact that if you drink fast enough, it can't affect you this quickly. Oh, really? Yeah. It takes a little while to catch up. It's like, it's like getting full. You can eat as much as you want in like 15 minutes. Oh. But then way. it's just going to hit you all at once. Well, it does hit you all at once, but... I like old fashioned spatter. Oh yeah? <laughs> well, I mean, there's other options out there. Well, but it's true. You're out there in the summer or camping, it went, especially when it's hot. I usually crave a margarita. I'm not craving mm -hmm. an old fashioned when I'm out there in the heat. Yeah. And there's tricks you can do to help cool it off. You know, like putting it in a bottle and submerging it underwater. Because the water will help keep it cooler because it's going to be colder than outside. I'm not going to lie. I'd probably request that you take the cooler with mm. some ice. And if you get it, you know, to 60 degrees and it's 90 degrees outside, it's going to feel kind of like it's ice because it'll be a 30 degree difference at least. But it's not just about it being cold. It's, you know, the mm. it's about having ice, ice in it. it. Mm, okay. might be crazy but could you freeze these ahead of time um mm, i'm not sure that you could get it like a big ice cube but like the lose from the last time you could make a you know urban lose for the old-fashioned the ice cube mm -hmm. I mean, i'm sure you could do something like that and add the liquor to it well yeah what i'm thinking is could you make some of these separate without the alcohol and then like in the ice freeze them and then at once you're out there, you know, add the liquor to it with everything else. Probably, but it depends. Like if you're backpacking or waiting till the very end of the day and you start in the early morning, they're probably oh, right, not going right. to make it. But I'm thinking like for a camping trip with friends, you know. You just take ice at that point. True, true. Okay, finish up. I'm just, I can just see us like being crap for space though. We just freeze them ahead of time. Yeah, just have them ready. it's possible. Okay. All right, and for the last one, are you ready? <laughs> oh God. What? Definitely smells more alcoholic. It had less of a density than the other two. Did it? I think so. Hmm. I just had a loud drink. Definitely can taste the alcohol in this one. Really? I don't think, for the smaller density, I don't think it's that much more alcoholic. It's It has a spicy flavor to it. Uh, I don't think that's what I'm tasting. I feel like all I'm tasting is tequila. I think you're tasting the spicy. Excuse me. And that second one, I got the sweetness to it. I didn't necessarily taste it on the first one. What kind of masochist likes this one? I like it. Like tequila is already burning as it is, and then it's and then to add spiciness to it. And the spice is good. Yeah, but to tequila. Yeah. Well, you're almost there. <laughs> I think I'm more of a. Um... Bourbon gal or hmm. gin. Okay. Gal. 
I mean, this one isn't as sweet as the others, and you said you didn't like sweet drinks. So. Oh yeah, out of the three, this is definitely the best. Okay, we'll save that for the save that for the rating section or the the ranking. Oh god, I forgot. So I have to rank the other two, not yeah. this one. Well, wait, okay. wait. Finish, your, <laughs> finish one part of it, and then we'll move on to the next one, huh? Any other thoughts on this one about what you're tasting? You definitely know that you're drinking tequila in this one. See, I don't necessarily taste the tequila. I taste the mixture. Obviously, we have different taste buds. Mm -hmm. I mean, I prefer salty or bittery drinks, and you prefer the sweeter ones, so. But that one's not sweet. Definitely not. And I think that is why. Can we get to our rankings? Well, I guess, yeah. This is my number one. Okay. So Linda likes number three the best. And I like number one second. Okay. Just because I finished it. <laughs> I could not finish number two. And that's because it was more liquid or? It was. Um, or because of the flavor or both. Flavor. Um, and then at the end, it was just so concentrated. It just grossed me out at the very end. Mm. So I, I couldn't finish it. Okay. Oddly enough, I'm actually going to... Oh, excuse me, sorry. Sasha. Sorry. Oddly enough, I'm actually going to rank them the same as you this time. Oh. So I think that means we probably... But my margins of how much I like them compared to the others is much smaller, I think, than yours. Okay. Because I, I like them all three. I would I would be happy to drink all three. It doesn't sound like you would go out of your way to drink any of them yeah, or some of them. Yeah, you're an easygoing guy. Yeah. But so I like all three. I've had them all three before. Um, and I guess for the reveal, uh, number three is the WNP. It's the spicy margarita mix. Ooh. It's got, you know, jalapeno in it is what they say. So that's what gives it its spice. I could not taste that. See, I could. Uh, number, what is this one? Number one is the mango margarita uh, by Craft Mix. Uh, it's definitely a little bit sweeter and I like that. Uh, number three is the uh, Bar Country. It's the coconut lime one. This one definitely uh, tastes better chilled, like on ice, because we've had it before, remember, at Garmin Falls? And we had it on ice, and you seemed to like it there. I mean, yeah, but that was a following of a very, a long hike yeah. on a sunny day. <laughs> yeah, so it was on ice. I think ice definitely enhances that one. Um, but yeah, I like all three. I've had them all three before. Uh, I definitely get all three again. I mean, I got them all for backpacking, and so I'll keep them. Um, any final thoughts? Enjoy the margaritas at restaurants while you can. <laughs> but okay. if you need a replacement or you're out there with uh, camping with your buddies, I definitely recommend um, the spicy margarita mix. Pretty good. Well, I guess that's why they call it primitive camping. Yeah, and, and if yeah, and if you're lightweight or you know it's, it's too early to go all out, then definitely go for um, the mango one. That's not the mango one. That one's the mango one. I'm oh, sorry. Thank you. Definitely go for the mango one. I forgot how to read your rank. I'm sorry. But yeah, then definitely go for the mango one. Okay. Well, I think that's it for this one. Um, if you've got some cocktail mixes you think that we should try, let us know in the comments. Make sure you like and subscribe. For and, science. And thank you for joining us on our adventure.